Win again. Teal knocking it sideways for Regis. And Staunton returning it now for Aston Villa. Cross going in. Throwing in a run. It's a goal there by White York. York. Hill. Heath. Stopped by Blake. But not before Heath they got the ball through to Sharon. Deep, deep cross there to Hyper Quinn, but not for White. And it's in there. Massive clearance there by Les Seeley. Daly might get on the end of this! A fabulous goal for Tony Daly! This really had a look of inevitability about it right from the start. Nice touch, Lee. Rod Wallace adding to his recent surge of goals with another stinging left foot volley. That's six in five for Rod. Then the always impressive Gary Speed showing great composure with 20 minutes to go. Denny Sirwin has come across to possibly take the free kick, although it's going to be Giggs. Oh, and it's just flicked away and in! Manchester United in front! And the little touch of the near post from the Coventry defender just set it up for United. Steve Bruce, the goal scorer. Alistair, though, for United. Webb making a forward run, and Palace has picked him out, and Neil Webb is onside, he's clipped it over the goalkeeper, and that is a picture goal from Neil Webb. Ryan Giggs will take the corner, in towards Steve Bruce, forced down, he's got another chance, and McClare has got one of the easiest chances he'll ever have. He's opened things up in the middle a little bit, McClare. Support from Dennis Irwin, and now from Ryan Giggs, who's onside, plenty to put it back to, Hughes with the header! And in the last ten minutes, Mark Hughes gives the scoreline some of the authority it deserves. Can Wednesday get the early breakthrough they require? Bart Williams has come to make it short. Hit uh, by Wellington and Bart Williams the touch and they've got it. Guess who? David Hurst. Oh, Hart superb. He cut inside Lasso then and he's played a lovely ball for Jemson. Hurst's in the middle. Jemson, Hurst, 2 0. Copybook goal. That was a beauty. But Chelsea aren't playing themselves out of trouble very well at the moment. And Bart Williams has it again. Now Sheridan for Wednesday. Might try his luck. Great ball through. Worthington. Well, he was offside and Hitchcock has a right old go at Worthington. That was unnecessary. Worthington dived in for the ball, believing he was onside. Hitchcock reacted angrily against the Sheffield Wednesday Irish International. And a red card has been shown. And I think that red card, well, it could be for both of them, it is, they're both off. So Vinnie Jones makes his return to Sheffield as a standing goalkeeper now. King was there, Hurst, his goal side of the defender, and Hurst goes on and gets in the area and squares it for Williams, and it's 3-0. And Paul Williams says thanks very much to David Hurst. It was a comedy of errors to start with. Certainly nothing going right at the back for Palace these days. Andy Thorne own goal. Well, neither side are having problems finding the net. Protecting it, well, that's a different matter. Rob Newman with a reminder that the pantomime season will soon be with us. Quality stuff coming up here. Goal of the day contender B. Sutton's tackle, flex perception, and Darren Beckford threatening the obvious and then doing the opposite.
2-1 to Norwich. Mark Bright came close to getting his first goal in nine games before Eddie McGoldrick got his first in 85. A moment to savour. I think he enjoyed that, don't you? Three minutes later, Palace were in front with a sort of move, well, more associated with their opponents. Simon Osborne in for the injured Jeff Thomas, getting his first goal for the club. But with seconds left, Palace conceded the 13th goal in their last four outings. Norwich having the final say in a thoroughly entertaining match. Offside was a possibility, but the camera angle not really conclusive. Rob Newman at the same end, at the right end this time, if you know what I mean. Eric Young led the Palace protests and was sent off. Southampton's goal was a bit suspicious. Bruce Grobelaar had presumably come for a backheader from David Burrows, who was dumped onto the floor by scorer Alan Shearer, with Bruce in no man's land. Well, after the debacle at Peterborough on Tuesday, Liverpool badly needed something out of the game. Ray Houghton inevitably involved, and a first career goal for young Jamie Redknapp. Dad Harry wasn't there to see it, but Mum was. Johnston, Beardsley, Johnston, again Beardsley, neat football this from Everton and that's a good ball too, here's Tony Cotty, great goal, lovely tidy football and Tony Cotty on the mark, here's Ebrill looking for Ward, who gets it now, Johnston, Beardsley, lovely ball, this is lovely stuff again from Everton, just opening up for Peter Beagre, what a cracker and a somersault to match what a goal from Peter Beagre it just swerves away out of the reach 2-0 here's Peter Beagre he's been involved in everything so far and that's a nice ball forward too here's Peter Beardsley great finish just a sniff of a chance, and Peter Beardsley finds the net again. A little lucky, perhaps, the way it came off Gale, but once Beardsley had the sight of goal, he knew where the net was. Degree. Nice skill, and Hinchliff's made the break for him now. Hinchliff's got behind West Ham. Mo Johnston! Yes! away by Paul Tonya Garner. Now Van den Howe coming, getting it into the penalty area of Garner again. Hooks it clear. That was desperation jump back through the walls and shoots and scores! <laughs> so it's a corner to Notts County. Oh, and an overhead kick and a beautiful goal by Craig Short. Ho oh, oh. ho! That really was something. Fennick plays it into Bergson now. Notts County have got everybody back in defence. The Spurs fans urging the team on. It comes up to Stewart who chests the ball down to Walsh. Down to Stewart. He's on the edge of the penalty area. The angle of the penalty area. He gets it in the middle and a shot. And back in the score. That was a beauty. Oldham had a great opportunity to go in front and set up the possibility of a third successive league win. Marshall down by scales, but Graham Sharp failed miserably from the spot, changing his technique from last week. Now, Wimbledon ended a four and a half game stretch without a goal when Robbie Earl played to the whistle, and quite rightly, Earl Barrett was playing them on side. It turned out to be Wimbledon's first victory since Peter Wythe took over as manager nine games ago. Warren Barton's run, Robbie Earl again. Mind you, they were delighted to hear the final whistle because Oldham scored with six minutes left. Handball John Fashionu, Ian Marshall this time. A victory that takes QPR clear of the bottom three, only their second at home this season. Roy Wegley recalled after a reserve team hat-trick in at the near post for the game's only goal. Geringer missing the header. Ball. In trouble. 
Finnegan heads it straight to Sheringham. Now Crosby and Cross. And the ball breaks to Wone on the left. Quite clearly, this opening period, the second half. I'll just leave it there for a second. Yes, as Wone attacks dangerously and finds Sheringham again. And still Sheringham. And Crosby gets the shot in and Sheringham the header. It's in. Teddy Sheringham scores and celebrates in amongst the fans. Nottingham Forest lead Arsenal by two goals to nil. Crosby. Charles making a storming run down the right. And the first time cross to Sheringham and lifted towards Gibble. It's a superb goal. Nottingham Forest gets another. And Arsenal surely are finished now. He needs support. Gets it from Merson. That is magnificent. Bold Arsenal may as well pour everyone forward now. Concede another goal, so what? Walker sprinting out to try and stop the cross, and Smith is there! And Arsenal have got another goal! 